Hey guys, welcome to Becky's Garden Paradise. It's been a couple weeks uh, since I showed you what I have growing on, so I wanted to give you an update. I do have some footage to show you how the garden looked just over a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. I had some plants that were damaged by animals, either my dog or squirrels. Um, but I'm going to show you that and then I will bring you back and show you what it looks like today after we've had a couple good rains. Alrighty, so here are some of the plant starts that I still need to plant. So, cucumbers, a couple squash plants um, that I bought the transplants of. I'm not too worried about them because they were like barely, like, when I planted the transplants that I put in the ground, some of them barely had any roots, so they could have definitely benefit from uh, being in the soil a little bit longer before they get transplanted. And then I have my pretty and sweet peppers. Those are some more over there that I started from seed that I intend to keep a couple and give a couple away as Mother's Day gifts. And then I still have some more tomato transplants, different kinds. So this is, and these are tomatoes that I started myself. Red cherry. I always grow cherry tomatoes. And then this is more homestead and then this is a what is it a four pack yeah a four pack of what banana peppers that I bought let me see well you can't see wow bell peppers and then this is the four pack of um, cubanelles that I bought and they're trying to start flowering so I need to get those transplanted which I'm gonna do today um, this is another pepper that I had started from seed wonder pepper or wonder pepper yellow wonder is what it's called um, and then this one over here in the back corner is the sole surviving cayenne pepper that I also need to transplant so I've been doing some other stuff uh, out in the garden. I'll show you how it's going. These are some of my peppers that I've had. Um, you know, a couple of them are from last year. As in last spring that I'd started from seed. Like the poblano in front of me. That has peppers growing in different places on it. And uh, this is a jalapeno from last year. And you can see it was looking pretty bad because I neglected it for a little bit. Had it up against the wall where it wasn't getting rained on. And uh, now it's all pushing out new healthy growth. And those are the bell peppers that I planted last fall from transplants. And then these are the two mystery peppers. So this one's all bushed out. I think this is supposed to be a habanado. The peppers on it are real teeny tiny. Um, and I've given it fertilizer, but it's they're still real small, like little teardrop peppers. And then this is a mystery pepper. That I picked some off of it last week, but uh, or a few days ago. It has some more peppers on it. I was worried it was a mystery pepper. I don't know what kind of pepper it is. I thought it was going to be burning hot, but they're actually sweet, which is cool. These are my puny onions that uh, <laughs> are growing. I think they might be ready soon since that stalk is starting to lean. I saw another one in the back that's teeny tiny like a little pearl onion that's starting to lean. But these are all red onions. This is the row of squash that I planted. So the first three were the ones that had barely any roots on them, but they're growing little teeny tiny like I said they barely had any roots try to brush the dirt off of it that was another one the third one that barely had any roots but they've put on more leaves since I planted them and then these ones had more roots so I can't remember which is which three of them are zucchini and three of them are yellow squash so this one had a little bit more roots those white lines are leaf miners but 
It's all good. I'm not worried about those. You can see these new leaves in the middle. This is probably zucchini, but it's still a guess. I'll, <laughs> I'll remember what they are when I see the fruit. This one is the best looking one. Standing up the tallest. I'm excited. It actually looks like it's starting to get some. That's a bird making all kinds of racket. Anyway, you can see down in there that it's starting to put on some flowers or some buds. My uh, marigolds that volunteered that I transplanted have been struggling. I've just been trying to make sure I keep them watered. And my tomatoes. There was one here that I had replanted. It's not looking very good. It could have got stepped on by my dog. I don't know. It stormed over the weekend. Could have been that too. And then this is a tomato. Actually, two tomatoes had sprouted, but I planted both of them. And I'm glad I did because something bit off that tomato plant. But I still have the second one. So, I don't know if it was a bird or a squirrel, but one or the other. These ones are the homestead tomatoes. This is two. You can see how I didn't cut one off. I just let them both go. That's a baby marigold I transplanted that volunteered that's doing the best. This is another tomato that got decapitated. I got one that I can replace it though. So, I mean, it's still alive. It just got the center bit off of it. I might plant another one next to it. And then this is one that looks pretty good. It's okay. These last two look better. But I did start putting some of my little fence panel things up to uh, try to block my dog's ability to run through the garden and trample stuff. And over here in this row, this is my um, cucumber row. It's a cucumber growing in a hole that my dog dug. There's another little baby cucumber. That's actually a sweet potato sprouting because we hit a couple whenever Mr. B was tilling. And that's another one that started from the seed that I'd given up on. And then I have some transplants I'm going to put in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, either put in my fence post or get Julian to help me put in the fence post so that I can put fence up here in this cucumber row because that'll help keep my dog from trampling stuff until I get my gate. All right, guys, so we're back to present day, Thursday, May 6th, and I'm going to start with the rattlesnake beans because they've been taking off. So you can see they've reached the top of my fence and they are making their way around. So I want to show you all of the pretty flowers. They're little purple flowers. I love them. Purple is my favorite color and they are all over the place. So you can see the different stages. So you can see, let me show you the blooms here. And then the little teeny tiny um, green bean by my pinky. You can see how small and cute that is. That's a baby green bean. And then here are a couple that are a little bit longer. And then if you go down, there's one that's a little bit longer than that. So, and they go all the way down. If you look from the, basically from the top to the bottom, you'll find flowers or green beans they're not super dense I feel almost like I could have planted them a little bit thicker but there were a couple places where they didn't come up but again these are rattlesnake pole beans look at this one coming out way out off the uh, <laughs> off the um, fence I'm just gonna guide it over back toward the fence it wants to cling on to something so this is a wide open area there we go 
so I just helped it find its way back down onto the fence so it can hang on to that. These are, this is another couple plants. Um, and this one you can see flowers, flowers, flowers. All right, this is one of my volunteer tomatillos. If you've never seen this, it looks similar. It's not identical. It somewhat resembles a tomato, but it's not a tomato. It's like the cousin of a tomato and some people are surprised when they see how they grow that they actually like the plants usually stay lower and branch out versus growing taller uh, when you stake up or have cages or trellises for your tomatoes and these have been covered in little blooms last year they bloomed for a while but it seemed like it wasn't until maybe the late summer that I actually started getting fruit we'll see how it goes this year since they volunteered but you can see the little flowers so once they get pollinated um, the flower is gonna fall off and then there will be a little husk that the tomatillo grows inside of <clears throat> this is a pepper that my son and I transplanted when I uh, filmed about a week ago or a little over a week ago like I said and it already if you look in there has quite a few buds on it and that is a Cuban L pepper that I bought from Plant Place Nursery these are the other tomatillos that volunteered I grew them in these um fabric pots across the yard last year and as soon as it warmed up they sprouted so obviously I missed some tomatillos I had seen a, a snake skin on the ground by these when they were across the yard last summer so once I found that snake skin I was kind of scared to go back over there by them I'm braver this year but I want to show you the little flowers so you can see how they're yellow flowers and then this is what the husk looks like so that is the husk that tomatillo is growing in so it looks like i'm gonna get tomatillos earlier this year this is another uh plant pepper plant and it looks like it got beat up by the sun that's why i usually grow my peppers in the shade or partial shade this is an area that gets full sun so i'm gonna have to move this this is the other real good sized tomatillo. They've grown really quick. I have a couple tomatoes. And then I have a couple tomatoes that didn't make it. So they must have got dried up. It's kind of weird that these two didn't get dried up. And those two did. Actually those, that one also. That's sad because I had planted the rest of my tomato plants. But. I'll put something in here to replace it. Those are cherry tomatoes. I haven't planted anything in these other three fabric pots yet, but I have some grass or weeds or whatever that is coming up. Got a couple bell peppers over here. This one looks pretty good. This one you can see got sun scald on it. That's what they call that on the leaf. And now, I'm excited to show you the rest of what I got growing on. So you can see where we came from. Those are the rattlesnake pole beans. Volunteer uh, marigold right there that's getting ready. It has a bud on it. And those were marigolds that volunteered and I transplanted them. And then this is my squash. So that rain has helped this uh, yellow squash take off putting on a lot of growth I get fish fertilizer this is Thursday I get fish fertilizer on Saturday and then it rained on Sunday and then it rained again yesterday so yesterday was like a monsoon rain this is another volunteer marigold that I transplanted that's another yellow squash the yellow squash transplants were a lot smaller and just to give you an idea 
you can see like how big it is spread wise my hand I don't know how long it is like six inches so it's just a little over six inches wide versus these that are zucchini and the transplants I planted them at the same time as the yellow squash but they were the transplants were a lot bigger when I put them in they had a lot more roots so this is like basically my hand is like on one leaf and you still have the whole rest of the plant let's take a peek in there we have flowers so they're all male flowers I don't see any um, female flowers yet which it's normal for them to have male flowers first to attract the bees this is another one again is zucchini it also got some sun scald on it and it it has buds down in there but they're not blooming yet but I'm super excited another volunteer marigold you can see you know to my hand it's as wide as my hand and it has buds on it too and my third zucchini it's the biggest one happiest healthiest looking one but um the buds haven't started opening up Got another volunteer marigold in this space right here i've had to, this was the third time that i planted tomatoes right here so that first tomato has been left alone but this is the third time you see that tomato there third time i'd planted tomatoes there twice before and i know the first time they got dug up by squirrels i could tell by the size of the hole i don't know what happened the second time but they weren't there anymore so this is tomato i'm pretty sure that it is a uh, cherokee purple tomato that has made it through my only cherokee purple this one over here I believe is an Abe Lincoln here I had transplanted a bell pepper to try to grow it in the ground to see what it would do and it didn't make it it was really hot in between the rains that we got so, so that again is the Cherokee purple my only one I'm glad those uh, are heirloom tomatoes that are super refreshing people compare them to uh, watermelon and so you could just get an idea. It's about, mm, I'll say like 10 inches tall, less than a foot tall. And then these, the majority of these tomatoes in this row are the homestead tomatoes. I planted six of them. And then uh, one of them, I think squirrels got to it. And then another one, maybe my dog got, I don't know. Anyway, wildlife, animals, critters critters in the garden but the homestead tomatoes so far have been super hardy plants so thick uh, stalks for their size good foliage this is taller than the Cherokee purple this one I'd say is like a foot tall this is a replacement and I believe that that's an Abraham Lee or Abe Lincoln um, where I lost a tomato and had to plant a new one so it's another reason why it's good to plant extra starts that way if something happens you have backups this is another homestead this is one of my precious cucumber plants that my dog dug up that dried up that's how I found it this is tomato I'm not sure, I can't remember for sure if it's a homestead I planted here originally or if it's something I've replaced it with. It's a marigold transplant that's struggling. Homestead and homestead. I had a couple cucumbers planted here. <laughs> Excuse me, but my dog dug them up. They were beautiful, had tendrils on them. I was getting ready to put trellis up but they didn't make it this is one of the cucumber seeds that germinated in a hole that my dog dug so we'll see I'm not I can't remember what kind it was I had planted like maybe four different varieties in this so I'm hoping that it is a um, 
a lemon cucumber or a white cucumber. My baby's getting ready to plant my Mother's Day gift. I decided I'm going to make this whole raised bed all pretty flowers. So my baby bought me this pretty flower. That'll be perfect for in here. So he's digging the hole. He wants to plant it. Thank you, Julian, for the awesome and beautiful flower. You know the way to my heart. I love you, Julian.